the next question for you is which two fractions are equivalent Okay. The options are five by two and two by five. Option B four by three and eight by six. Option C one by four and 2 by 4 and option D 2 by 3 and 1 by 3. Okay. So now we have to identify which of the given figures have the same or equivalent value. Equivalent means equal. Okay. So we have to identify which of these values are equal. So 5 by 2 and 2 by 5 are they equivalent children? No, because the First, the denominators are different. Second thing, this is an improper fraction and this is a proper fraction, right? So, there is no equivalency in the first pair. Coming to the next one, 4 by 3 and 8 by 6. Is it possible for me to simplify 8 by 6 children? We can divide it by 2. So, 4 into 2 is 8 and sorry, uh, yeah, 2 into 4 is 8 and 2 into 3 is 6, right? So, 8 by 6 can also be written as 4 by 3, right? So, 4 by 3 and 4 by 3. So, does it make an equivalent pair? Yes. Option B is the right one. Shall we check if any other matches here? 1 by 4 and 2 by 4. No, because both are simplified form and you cannot simplify it further. 2 by 3 and 1 by 3. That is also not possible. So, option B is the right one. Clear? Shall we move to the next one? Okay. So, here is your next question. The question says, simplify 6 by 9 into 6 by 3. And your options are 3 by 4, option B, 4 by 3, option C, 1 by 3 and option D 1 by 4. Okay. So, now you have to simplify 6 by 9 and 6 by 3. So, shall we simplify and see children? 6 by 9 into 6 by 3. So, is it divisible children? Yes. So, 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6. Right. Here again we can simplify it by 3, 3 1s are 3. 3 2's are 6, 3 3's are 9. So, which becomes 2 into 2 is 4 and here it is 3 and 1, right? So, 3 into 1 is 3. So, this is written as 4 by 3. That is option B. Clear? Shall we move to the next one? Are you finding it interesting? Okay. So, the next question is, choose the incorrect option. Choose the incorrect option. Okay. Option A, 1 by 2 is equals to 4 by 8. Option B, 1 by 2 is equals to 6 by 12. Option C, 1 by 3 is equals to 5 by 10. And option D, 1 by 3 is equals to 5 by 15. Okay. So, you need to choose the incorrect pair. 1 by 2 equals to 4 by 8. Is it correct? Yes, because if I simplify this one, this becomes 1 by 2 again, right? 1 by 2 equals to 6 by 12. Is it correct? 6 1s are 6. 6 2s 
six twos are twelve. Yes, they are also the same value. One by three equals to five by ten. So five ones are five, five twos are ten. So one by three is not equal to one by two, right? So option three is the right one. Coming to the fourth one, one by three equals to five by fifteen. Five ones are five, five threes are fifteen. So this is also same. Okay. So option C is the right answer. Clear? Shall we move ahead? Okay. So here is your next question. The question says, convert. Twelve, three by eleven twelve three by eleven into improper fraction improper fraction. Okay, your options are one twenty one by twenty seven. Option B, one thirty five by eleven. Option C, one forty one by eleven. And option D, one hundred and eleven by eleven. Okay, so now. We have to change this mixed value number into an improper fraction. So the number given as twelve three by eleven, it can be written as. So first we'll multiply twelve into eleven. Eleven twos are twenty two. Two eleven ones are eleven. Eleven plus two thirteen. Okay. So it is one thirty two plus. We have to add this three. So two plus three five. Three and one, so this can be written as one thirty-five by eleven. Where will you find it, children? That is option B. Clear? So how did you do? You multiplied this, and whatever is the product, you added the remainder with that product to get the improper value. Clear? Shall we move to the next question? Okay. So the question for you is. Convert the improper fraction five eighteen by twenty seven into mixed fraction. Okay, and the options are five, nineteen by twenty-seven. Option B, twenty-seven, nineteen by five. Option C, nineteen, five by twenty-seven. And option D, twenty-seven five by nineteen. Okay, so now in this question, they have given us an improper fraction, and they have asked us to convert it into mixed fraction. So how we will do it? Five hundred and eighteen. Divided by twenty-seven. Okay, so shall we count and see? So let us multiply by two and see. Seven twos are fourteen. One, two twos are four. Four plus one five. Where here it is given as fifty-one. So one. Okay. So this will be twenty-seven. This eight will come down. Eleven minus seven is four, and four minus two is 
2. This is 248, right? So now, how many times will 27 be multiplied in order to get 248? So let us try to figure out. So 27 into, shall we multiply by 8 and see? So 7 8s are 56, 5, 2 8s are 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 and 21. It's 216. Okay. Shall we multiply 27 into 9 and see how much it is? So 7 9s are 63, 6, 2, 7, 2 9s are 18, 18 plus 6 is 24. So it is 243. Here it is 248, right? So 9 times it will go 243 and your remainder is 5. Okay. So this will be written as 19. 5 by 27. This is how it will be written. So, where can you find it children? That is option C. Okay. 19, 5 by 27. 19 is the quotient value, 5 is the remainder value and 27 is the divisor value. Clear? Shall we move to the next question?